To investigate a question, you will need to design and conduct a fair test. We all know what a test is, trying something out to get an answer. But let's talk about what we mean by fair. Let's say I wanted to find out who in your class was the tallest jumper. Would it be fair if I had you jump from the ground, but I gave your friend a trampoline to jump from? Definitely not. Both of you would need to jump from the same surface in order for the test to be fair. It is important in a fair test that one thing is different, but everything else has to be the same. So first you have to plan your fair test by asking yourself some questions. What one thing will be changed? This is what you're testing. What do we need to keep the same? There's going to be a lot of things you'll have to think about that will need to stay the same. How many times do you need to do the test? You will want to do the test many times in order to be sure you did a fair test and it is accurate. What should we record and how? What you are recording will be different for different tests, but how you will record results will generally be with a t-chart. After you've made your plan, you can begin the test, making sure to follow the directions carefully so your test is fair. Let's plan and conduct a fair test right now. My question is, what kind of cookie soaks up the most milk? We'll start with what's going to be changed or different. And I'm going to write it here on my plan. So here I have a vanilla wafer, a chocolate chip cookie, and an Oreo. This is what's going to be different. Type of cookie. Now everything else has to be the same. So I'm going to think about all the things that need to stay the same. Turn to the person sitting next to you and whisper something you think needs to be kept the same to make the test fair. Let's look at some of those questions. So how long should I dunk the cookie in the milk? It wouldn't be fair if I dunk the vanilla for five seconds, but the Oreo for 30. So let's pick a time that's going to be the same. I'm going to dunk the cookies for 15 seconds. 15 second dunk. How much of the cookie should we dunk in? I say the whole cookie should be in the milk. Dunk entire cookie. What kind of milk? Well, here I have 2% cow milk. Wow, this experiment is starting to make me hungry. Now we need to decide how many times to do it. Silently hold up your fingers to show how many times we should do the test. Well, I'm going to do the experiment three times with each cookie. So, how are we going to know which cookie soaked up the most milk? Take a minute and come up with an idea. There's lots of ways we could figure this out. For this test, I plan on putting the cookie in the same type of cup with the same amount of milk and then pouring out the milk and measuring how much came out using this cup right here, marked with milliliters. Then I'll know which one soaked up the most milk because it will have the least amount of milk come out. Last thing we need to plan is how we're going to record the results. We'll use a different t-chart for each cookie. Go ahead and make the t-charts along with me so we can record the results together. So for my t-chart, and I need test one, two, and three, and milk out. So this one will be the vanilla. So label the test number and how much milk comes out. And this one will be the chocolate chip. And then last, test number, milk out, or the Oreo. 
So your t-chart should look something like this, and then that way we can record our results. So here's our finished plan. Let's review to make sure everything looks good. So our fair test, which cookie absorbs the most milk? We're going to keep the same. It's a 15 second dunk. We're going to dunk the entire cookie. We're going to use 2% cow milk, and we're going to do the test three times for each cookie. The only thing that's different is going to be the type of cookie, vanilla, chocolate chip, or Oreo. So now our plan looks set. We're ready to begin the test. Let's start with the Oreo. So we're going to pour and use the same amount of milk. I'm using 30 milliliters of milk. my cup. All right, so we're going to dunk it in. Get ready to count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right, now I'm going to pour out my milk. All right, so using this, it looks like I got out 28 milliliters. Okay, now I'm going to do it again, this time with vanilla wafer. So starting with the same milk, measuring the same amount of 30 milliliters. Pouring it in my cup. All right, here's the vanilla wafer. You guys ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right. Oh, not the cookie. All right. Ooh, interesting. 25 milliliters came out of the vanilla wafer. 25 milliliters. Making sure to record my results each time. All right, that leaves our chocolate chip cookie. All right. Once again, starting with my 30 milliliters. Pouring it into my cup. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, and pouring. All right, that one got out. 29 milliliters of milk came out. So now I have all my recorded data for those tests that I've done, that 25 milliliters came out of the vanilla, 29 milliliters came out of the chocolate chip, and 28 milliliters came out of the Oreo. So, are we done with the test? Raise your hand if you think we still have more to do before we know for sure which cookie soaks up the most milk. Right, we still need to test each cookie two more times. That way we can make sure our results are accurate. Now, through the magic of television, we're going to fast forward to the end of the fair test. So, here's our finished T-charts with our results. By looking at our data, we can now easily see that the vanilla soaked up the most milk because it had the smallest amount of milk come out. And we know this because we designed and conducted a great fair test. Thanks for watching this video. Now, if you pardon me, I have some cookies to eat.